Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome to the kitchen. I'm going to be doing a little bit of uh, you know, what I eat on a normal day for you, a day of eating, but it's a little bit different because, you know, most people see strong man, expect day of eating, expect 10,000 calories. But with the injury and obviously with the training I've been doing, the change of focus, I've been dropping a lot of body fat. Uh, so I've been on a diet, so calories are really low. You'd be kind of shocked at how little I'm eating at the moment because I'm not able to move as much. So I thought you'd take through what I've got, kick off for breakfast, I'm starving, so I'm just going to jump straight to it. And obviously, this morning, I've got the, sat, the grand sum total of two eggs that I just tend to fry. Um, I've also got a tiny amount of oats, 25 grams of oats uh, to go into my bowl here. And then I'll just put a little bit of um, artificial sweetener in there as well. They'll just go in the microwave. And the last thing we've got to go in is uh, just some yogurt. Uh, Basically, 0% fat, Greek yogurt, 5 grams. Just to keep on top of my calcium, a little bit of extra protein in there as well, and I'll use like a little artificial sweetener in, in there as well. Bit of boiling water out of the hot tap. It's nice to have one of these, isn't it? Makes things a lot easier. Pretty fancy. Just boiling, boiling water straight out of the tap. That'll just go in the microwave for a minute. And while we're doing that, we'll uh, get the eggs on. and. We will get our breakfast ready. So that's on for a minute. Get my little place matting set. Don't mess up the uh, table. But yeah, this diet's been pretty tough. Um, I'm down pretty low calories at the moment, uh, which is not enjoyable. But it is what it is. It's part of the uh, part of the deal. So I've got to just kind of get used to it, and it's not for long now. I've got another maybe three weeks and then we'll be um, be ready to, to push up back up again. And the idea is to obviously push the calories up, be a lot more receptive to calories and food going in. Um, oh, the dogs have turned up. Hello dogs, Are you okay? Hello. Of course they're in the kitchen, I think I'm gonna be doing them some food, but they've already had their breakfast. Uh, but yeah, as I said, like, I think I'm on, 2,300 calories at the moment today on a low day. Um, give that a stir. So the food's pretty low. Um, just done my morning cardio as well, which is just on the spin bike. Um, because obviously I'm, I'm limited with how much walking I'm doing. Yes, I'm out the boot, but I can't really be doing lots and lots of steps, lots of walking. Uh, you know, I'm still trying to slowly build back in. Um, I've always just kind of enjoyed fried eggs. I think it's a lot easier to cook and eat, less mess. Actually, you wipe the pan down afterwards, you don't have to do much to it. But yeah, two eggs is pretty, <laughs> pretty low for me. Um, but yeah, like I said, two eggs, small bit of uh, oats, and then already prepared up my uh, yogurt last night so it's the old uh zero percent fat stuff greek yogurt and all i'll do is i'll just put a little bit of kind of art artificial sweetener in there that'll be ready to go so i'll get this meal finished and we'll get down and eat it okay so here's the breakfast just two uh fried eggs just cook them in avocado oil 25 grams of oats i chucked a little bit of kind of salted caramel uh zero calorie sweetener stuff you usually put in coffee and then the same in here, just a little bit of artificial, artificial sweetener in with my uh, 200 grams of yogurt. So that is breakfast for the day done. I'm going to get it down my neck. Okay, guys. So meal number two going in. This is one I, uh, <laughs> I prepared earlier. I prep a lot of my meals in advance, especially when I'm having like tiny amounts of rice because it's pretty, pretty depressing cooking just 25 grams of rice at a time uh, to have in your meals. But in this one, I've got uh, 250 grams of chicken that I did in the uh, Kamado Joe over the weekend. 
Uh, I've got 25 grams of dry weight white rice and then a little mix of uh, carrot, pepper, red onion and uh, cucumber all mixed up, chopped in there and stuff. No sauce or anything like that. And this one doesn't really need it. It's quite a nice little salad, but I'll get this meal in me. Um, I've just got back from physio. Had a really good physio session with Joe uh, from Valkyrie Physiotherapy, helping me out and obviously working on the Achilles. We worked on my tricep, uh, mobilized my hips, obviously with the, the change in my walking gait at the moment, my back and the hips get a little bit jacked up. So we did a good bit of work on them. Uh, but I'm back home now, get this meal into me, and then I've got another little break before I'm off for, for sports massage as well. Okay, meal number three going in. Uh, this one's actually a shake for me. So I get a banana, um, 40 grams of whey, and then I, another kind of snack I usually have like during the day. I'll sometimes split this up, but other times I'll just put it together is uh, 50 grams of uh, like a nut butter. So I'll either have like whole cashews or I'll have, um, or just peanut butter, depending on what, what I really want, but chuck some ice in here. So obviously, obviously no milk or anything like that. Just water, a bit of ice just to uh, make it taste a bit better. And then like I said 50 grams of peanut butter, which I'll have now. And then just the one banana, which goes in as well. Blend that up. The, uh, the way I'm using at the moment is like a triple chocolate whey uh, from Chain by JP. This stuff's amazing. So I actually um, got myself a Ninja Creamy off the recommendations of Mr. Terry Hollands. And uh, it makes some pretty, pretty epic ice cream as well. So sometimes I'll also have this as a, uh, an ice cream um, rather than always just having it as a shake. Uh, if you're not on that Ninja Creamy life, it's, uh, it's a good one. I kind of recommend it. Uh, but yeah, 50 grams of peanut butter, one banana, which is roughly about 100 grams for me. And then we have just 40 grams of trained by JP Whey. Uh, this is the Pro ISO, so the, the isolate, the grass-fed isolate. I, after years of like pounding protein shakes, uh, my digestion kind of failed me a couple of years ago with, with um, whey protein and, and dairy in, in general. So I had to eliminate it for a bit, a bit and then kind of bring it back in slowly and it seems to have settled down. But that Pro Isolate is like top notch. That's kind of like the Rolls Royce of proteins and it seems to sit really well in my stomach. Um, so loud noise warning. We just blend that up. And there we go. Meal number three going in before I head off for massage. Right, guys. So we're back home from massage. It's another meal time. So was it half five now? Um, so it's meal number four going in. For this one, I've got jacket potato, 250 grams of jacket potato that's just finished off in the air fryer. Uh, 200 grams of turkey mince, uh, which I kind of mixed up with some um, onion, uh, some chili powder and stuff like that. Made it into kind of like a kebab that I've chopped up. Um, to make it a little bit more palatable and then some green beans as well. So the uh, potatoes all done. So we'll chuck that in, chop that up. That's another meal to go down. I'm starving, so I'm ready for this one. But yeah, I've got this one now and then uh, go for a little walk this evening. And we've got um, one more kind of proper solid meal tonight, which will be cod, a uh, small amount of rice and some of the same salad that I had in meal two. And then finally, we'll finish off with uh, my pre-bed meal, which is just yogurt again, um, with a little bit of cream of rice mixed through, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get this meal down me, uh, and then I'll have a little bit of time before we start getting ready for the next one. Okay, guys, next meal going in. Uh, this one's pretty simple. The rice already done, 25 grams of rice that's already cooked up. I've got a nice big old piece of cod going in, 200 grams of cod. I just like to do that in the air fryer. Super, super simple and convenient. Little low mess as well with these little trays that go in. And uh, all I'll do now is just add a little bit of uh, tajin seasoning, uh, which is just basically kind of like crushed chilies and some salt and stuff. Uh, get it from Costco. Chuck a bit of that on there. And that'll just go in the air fryer for uh, on for like full power for around 10 minutes. 
mash it all up, goes in the bowl, and we're ready to go and eat. So, yeah, air fry, 210 degrees. 10 minutes, and away we go. So here we are, guys, meal five. So 25 grams of rice, 200 grams of cod, the uh, mixed peppers, cucumber, red onion, and carrot like we've had before. And then just finish it off with a little splash of soy sauce, give it a little a bit of salt, a bit of flavor. So I'll get this one down me, and I'll go out for my evening walk, and then it's just the uh, pre-bed yogurt to go. Okay, last meal of the night. So uh, for this I've got 300 grams of Greek yogurt, natural yogurt, 0% fat. And then 25 grams, or just like effectively one scoop of cream of rice. Uh, for those who don't know, cream of rice is basically effectively like just rice powder, or rice flour. Um, and the, obviously the trend by JP have got a pretty extensive range. So I've got a couple of different ones. This is probably my favorite flavor, which is the chocolate banana. So they do, you know, like, strawberry cheesecake, um, cookies and cream, all the usual flavors and a load more. So make sure you check them out if you like some variety in your diet. But 300 grams of yogurt first. We chuck that in. A little bit more. There we go. 300 grams of yogurt, zero the scale, and then 25 grams of cream of rice. And this mixes really well. It means that it kind of adds a bit of flavor to the yogurt, otherwise it'd be a, a wee bit bland. Yeah, I'm gonna mix this up. This is my, obviously my last meal of the day. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit, a bit different from what it usually would be for kind of a strong man day of eating. Um, but like I said, I'm in a diet phase. Body weight's down to 140 kilos. We're gonna try and push a little bit more for another couple of weeks, and then I'll push the food back in and rebuild back up and get ready for my return to Strongman. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you have, make sure you like and subscribe, all that jazz. I'll see you in the next one.